And well, some of the first aerial views of Graves County coming from State Senator Whitney Westerfield, whose district neighbors the hardest hit areas. Evening Edition's Lee Searcy speaking with him about the damage he saw and learning more about how the state is housing tornado victims. As the sun came up Saturday morning, Senator Whitney Westerfield and a friend flew a drone over hard hit Mayfield. He wanted to see the damage for himself. We were not prepared for what we saw. A few days later, he was just as surprised when he saw his neighboring community of Dawson Springs. It is the residential equivalent of downtown Mayfield. The monster twister wiped away 75% of the tiny town made up of 2,700 people. What looks to be a majority of, the, of people's homes in all of Dawson Springs are just destroyed, just wiped from the earth. It's weird. I mean, I've been at Dawson Springs, I don't know how many times in my life. But to look up and down streets and to see all of Dawson Springs all at once, because now there's not only no houses, no trees. There's nothing there. With so many now homeless, housing is critical. That's where Kentucky's state parks come in. We're not just using lodge rooms. We're using cabins and cottages. Mike Berry, Secretary of the State Tourism, Arts and Heritage Cabinet, says they've dewinterized seven state parks in western Kentucky to house people and not only tornado victims. As of this morning, uh, we were home and providing not only housing but also meals at these parks to 610 distressed guests and 176 first responders who are in helping and they need a place. As much of Western Kentucky recovers, including a decimated Dawson Springs in Mayfield, help continues coming in from all people and places. In my mind, the budget and legislative redistricting all got bumped down a peg uh, and the recovery and rebuilding of West Kentucky is now my top priority. And so we'll continue to bang the drum and, and remind people of the harm and the damage. Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News.